So there's something cool that you can derive from that root mean square velocity equals the square root of 3RT over molar mass, and it's called Graham's Law of Effusion. So effusion, not diffusion, but effusion, is the movement and the passage of gas through a, a tiny orifice into a evacuated chamber. Sounds kind of rude, doesn't it? But the thing is, uh, if, you, if you take, now think about this, look at this formula. I want to compare two gases in terms of their speed versus each other. Which one's faster than the other and how many times faster is one gas than the other? All you need to know at a given temperature, since R is a constant and T will be constant temperature for both of the gases, the difference in their molar mass gives you the difference in their speed. So if you think about it, the larger the molar mass is, divided into this here gives you a smaller number. The bigger you are as a gas particle, the slower that you go compared to something that's a little bit lighter in terms of its molar mass, it whips around a little bit quicker. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the thing is, if you take then this formula, this is Graham's Law right here, really cool. If you take the rate of gas 1 and you want to compare it to the rate of gas 2, take the, and this is what I, what I usually do is, I take uh, the heavier gas and I put it up here in the in the numerator when I assemble my formula and the rate of gas 1 over gas 2 equals the square root of the molar mass. It's not the molar mass but the square root of the molar mass of gas 2 over gas 1. If you make that the heavy gas then that one there, the heavy one here, that light gas over that heavy gas, you're going to get the light gas moving faster than that heavy gas and that's expressed right here in the square root of the molar mass of gas 2, the heavier one, over the lighter one here, which gives you a number greater than one, which will tell you how much faster gas one is, the light one is, over gas two. Okay, so here's a question. So, how many, or what is the, what is the ratio of effusion rates between H2 and CH4? How many times faster is uh, H2 than CH4, really? And wh why is H2 faster? Because it's lighter. You know the molar mass of hydrogen on the periodic table is 2.02, .02, and hydrogen is pretty much the lightest gas there is, period, anyway, right? So how much more fast is that than that in, uh, well, we're going to say the temperature is going to be held at, say, 25 degrees Celsius, but really it could be at virtually any temperature. Now, the rate of the hydrogen over the rate of the methane. Why did I set it up that way? Because I know that this one's faster. How, many, how much faster is this one going to be than this one? It's equal to the square root of the molar mass of the CH4, they're in opposite corners, then the molar mass, the square root of the molar mass of the H2. When you do that math there and put 16.05 in here, that's the molar mass of CH4, divided by the square root of 2.02, .02, which is the molar mass of the hydrogen, you're going to get, there, that's about 4, that's about 1 point something, so that sounds right, 2.82. The hydrogen is 2.82 times faster at a given temperature than methane is. But the question could be, using that same formula, you know, hydrogen has 2.2 times the effusion rate uh, than what other chemical? <laughs> or what other gas? So now you've got to actually find out the identity of that, that substance, or at least the molar mass of that substance, and then find the identity of it. Well, how would you do that? Okay, well, here's the thing. If you've got hydrogen, and you, you know that hydrogen's got to be the fastest thing because it's going to be the smallest gas that there is in existence, then you know that the rate of hydrogen over the rate of that unknown is going to equal the square root of the molar mass of that unknown divided by the square root of the molar mass of the hydrogen. That's how you would set it up. And then you'd say, well, I know what this is. This is this. So bang, right there, 2.82. So now to solve for this, you know that the square root of that unknown right there is going to be equal to 2.82 times the square root of 2.02, .02, which is 4.007 or something close to that. In order to get that right there, you've got to square both sides, right? You square that, you square that, and then whoosh, that, square the square root, you get that chemical right there, and then you square 4 and you're going to get 16, and you know what you get actually, you get 16.05, and then you know that's the molar mass of the unknown. Somebody gives you a list of chemicals and says, well, is it methane or nitrogen dioxide or oxygen or something like that? And you say, well, I got the molar mass of CH4. CH4 is 16.05. Oh, that must be CH4.